Robert Bruce Foot, born at Cheltenham in England on the 22nd day of September, 1834. The youngest son of Sophia Wells Foot and William Henry Foot was destined to be the pathfinder of Indian archaeological studies. At the age of 24 Foot was appointed as an assistant geologist in the Geological Survey of India to replace Henry Gagan. Foot's interest in Paleolithic life was kindled by the work of Joseph Prestwich in 1859. In course of his survey of geological locations in Madras Presidency, Foote discovered a Paleolithic stone hand axe from the debris of a pit dug in the lateritic gravel at Palavaram, near Madras on 30 May 1863. In September of that year Foote and King found innumerable implements about 1.5 million years old in a Tirapakam near Pundi in the Tiruvallur district. By the discovery of Paleolithic implements Foot became the pioneer of this branch of research in India, one in which he was later a recognized authority. After a minute examination of the Paleolithic tools and their sites, Foot, with his keen analytical sense, realized that the Paleolithic people used to keep clear of the thick forest areas nourished by heavy rainfall. In the opinion of Shanti Papu, because of this reason their settlements have been seldom found in the regions of the Western Ghats. Hence, concentration of Paleolithic has been noticed in the eastern coast areas where quartzite is found in abundance. The easy availability of quartzite, as observed by Foot, explains the use of the material for making tools and other artifacts. Foot discovered the largest Neolithic stone factory in the Madras Presidency located atop the Kapital Hill in Balari's Sanganakal Hill complex. Foot's discovery of crystalline limestone deposits and iron ore sites and his identification of valuable gold mines in Huddy, Sander, and Kohler have still been considered as useful steps towards enhancement of Indian economy. Robert Bruce Foote has been rightly called the father of Indian prehistory, because he laid the foundation of the road to Indian prehistoric studies. His commendable contribution to Indian prehistoric research was aptly pointed out by Oldham when, in his obituary, 1913, he described Foote as, a most enthusiastic investigator of relics of ancient man in southern India, and was for long recognized as a leading authority on this branch of research. The name of Foot is, says Shanti Papu, stamped across the pages of India's geological and archaeological history and carries as much weight today as it did a century ago. Foot, though famous for his remarkable contribution to geology and archaeology, was a versatile genius with an aesthetic sense. While exploring the prehistoric sites of India he observed nature unveiled and felt irresistibly drawn to her rhythmic diversity, as is evident from his sketches of Indian landscapes and seascapes.